All right, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Goose. How are you, sir? How you doing? You heard? Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Light work, light work. Is that in America or overseas? Anywhere. It's only a ring. What's the ceiling for Anthony Joshua? Does it become bigger than Floyd Mayweather? Oh, that's that's a big shout. But yeah, we'll get there. We're building. We're building. We're gonna fight uh, Molina on December 10th. Then Klitschko in April. How about how about you know, how about David Price talking all that shit? How about Price talking nah, all that smack? Come on, let's get serious. No, let's get serious. He's got, he's got, he, you know, David Price is a decent talent. But you know he's got to come back with a good win. Who we want Wilder. We want Wilder. I was I was convinced Andre Ward on points, but I have a sneaky feeling for Kovalev after the weigh-in. But Kovalev has got to be desperate in this fight. He can't let Ward just control him. Carl Froch, you know, when, when I was here, boxed Ward. He said he's so deceptively strong on the inside. But Kovalev mustn't let him do that. I don't think Ward will be able to lock him down like he did to Froch. If your guy James DeGale, if mm. he could win a unification, does it make sense for him to fight the winner of this fight at some point? Mm. I think he should stay at super middle. We've got another super middleweight called Callum Smith, who's the number one contender with the WBC. He's the mandatory for the winner of Badu Jack against James DeGale. And uh, that's a great fight for James DeGale. James DeGale should beat Badu Jack quite comfortably, I think. That, that was the next question. Any doubt he does that? No, I think I think he, he looked very good against Badu Jack. How's he doing? How's his eye? How's Who's Kel that? Brooks eye? Kel Brook's eye's great. He's back in training. I told him, uh, if you want to move to 154, you've got to vacate your belt. He said, I'm not vacating my belt. He said, everyone's going to think I'm running from Errol Spence. He said, I want to knock Errol Spence out. He said, then knock Errol Spence out. How soon can we get that fight? We want to do that fight in March or Where? April. Obviously over In the there. UK. 75, 25 per speed. Unless Mr. Heyman wants to pay us a lot of money, which we're open to as well. How is it? Can Brooks make 147 comfortably? Yeah, yeah. Not comfortably. But, can he still uh, make it? He can still make it, yeah. Would he be drained though? Are you worried at all? No, he's like not. He, I, I feel like he'd be better at 154, but he's not going to vacate the belt, so it's irrelevant. He's done all the tests. They all believe he can make the weight comfortably. So it's, it's tough. It's tough to make the weight. What about you know. him and Amir Khan? Oh man, how long we've been talking about that fight? Probably, been, happen, right? probably been talking about that fight for five years. So uh, I don't, I can't understand why that can't, that fight can't be made. It's the biggest fight out there for both guys. Um, I'd like to make the Pacquiao fight for Kelbrook, but you know. Uh, I think Pacquiao will be looking for a big fight after the last one, and that's probably not Kel Brook for his, in his eyes. You know? What was the year with Klitschko and Anthony Joshua? Is that going to happen April. In yeah, that's going to be April. We've got to fight Molina on December 10th, and uh, all being well, we'll fight Klitschko in April. And then we'd like Deontay Wilder next next summer, next su end of summer, autumn. Awesome. How would well, you rank that fight in recent fights in heavyweight, um, Klitschko and massive, Joshua? Massive, massive, massive fight. We'll do 90,000 tickets for that fight in the UK. Uh, it's a great fight. The young lion against you know one of the legends of, of the heavyweight division in the modern era. It's a great fight. How do you convince Deontay Wilder to come over there for that fight? Give him a sack load of money. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm at. Yeah, that's that's, my how, that's how you convince him. But we're open like to doing that here. No, but yeah, we, you gave Charles Martin four or five. Well, so I wish it was four. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, was the logic behind getting uh, Luis Ortiz to eventually match him with Joshua? Uh, yeah, basically, he's number one contender. He's going to be the eventual mandatory. He had a bad week against uh, Malik Scott, you know, and he'll be back on December 10th for our show. Ortiz is going to be in the mix for the IBF, the WBA, all the belts. So we want to be working with him. And I think he's a great talent. Do you truly feel Vlad wanted that fight on December 10th with Anthony Joshua, or did he not want that fight? No, I think he did, but he had a niggle, the WBA was slow, and it became six weeks. A fight of that magnitude, you deserve you know, 12, 14 weeks to build. Now we can go to a stadium in the spring as well. Now, I think I think I feel sorry for Vladimir because of the Fury stuff. You know, he's wanted revenge for him for a long time. It's not his fault he's been out for so long. So, you know, I think he'll be ready for that fight. Do you agree that Joshua Wilder is not just a great heavy fight, weight fight, but one of the best fights in the sport period and, and it has it has to be made? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and hopefully that'll be for the WBC. WBA, IBF, and IBO world titles. Does it have to happen in England or in the UK? No, no, no. It can happen. Yeah. I mean, listen, we want we want to be in a position where we can build that fight on on pay per view in in the US, and already we're in pay per view in the UK. So we're more than happy to do that fight either on American time in the US, in the UK, or over here. Joshua is, you know, we're looking for a fight for him next year. He'll be over probably for the James DeGale fight to do some media stuff with Showtime. So, you know, no problem fighting Wilder in America. Is Carl it really Fights on triple, the... tri Carl Fights Triple G, is that serious at all? Or? No, I don't know. Yeah. Tom, Tom Loeffler, I had a few drinks with Tom Loeffler, and he took a picture and he put out a tweet. He, he was drunk tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> 
he's got me in big trouble with Carl Crotch because he's rattled his cage. Why would Triple G want to fight a guy that's been out of boxing for Triple almost G. three years? A Triple G wants to fight everybody because he can't... So he get, says. You, no, 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 trust me. He's not even my fighter, I'll tell you. He'll fight anyone, Triple G. They cast the net so wide because they have to. These other, you know, these other guys, you've got Daniel Jacobs, they're desperate to fight Daniel Jacobs. Well, why wouldn't he fight Ward? Well, because Ward's 175 pounds. He's a middleweight. You know, you got him to. Froch, Froch wants to fight. He wanted to fight Froch at 168. And by the way, Golovkin Ward's a great fight. Okay, can Hello be Golovkin? No. How soon will we uh, see Joshua and Ortiz? Uh, potentially after the Klitschko fight. Okay. He may be mandatory for the WBA. Why, why do you think Canelo, why do you think he can't be Triple G Canelo? I don't think, I don't think, he's, I don't think he's strong enough. I don't, I don't see, I don't see many beating uh, Golovkin at middleweight. Uh, I think Alvarez is a fantastic fighter. And I thought, you know, I watched him back against Liam Smith, who I know you guys don't really know a lot about Liam Smith, but he's a good fighter, but he's not elite world level. But yeah, but, but he just, he, he, I watched, he, he was, he's a, Canelo is a great fighter. Stocks, rocket. Now he's super popular. Right, he shot the one. Yeah, so. He exposed Triple G. What did you make of his performance? I thought he was fantastic. I thought if he didn't break his eye socket, the fight would have gone deep, maybe points. Not saying he would have won, but I think it would have been a different fight. Uh, we always knew he could do that. He was at a disadvantage with size, but we knew the disadvantage wouldn't be that much. But Triple G's a beast. He cuts you off, you move. You know, I said to Kel the other day, I said, how hard does Triple G punch? And he went, like, as if to say, hard. Okay, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman. Who wins? Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman. Do you want him against uh, Kelvin? Yeah, anyway. Hey, Eddie, 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 as a, as a promoter, what do you think about all May the Mayweather and McGregor talk? What do you think about it? As a promoter and McGregor, what do you think about all that as a promoter? Why? You don't think it'd be a big fight? Thank you. Yeah, of course it'll be a big fight, but what do you want? Competitive fights or not? Come on, you know you're boxing. <laughs> so listen, you listen, want to listen if, if, Mayweather, if Mayweather fights McGregor uh -huh. in boxing, it's a complete mismatch. Yeah. If McGregor fights Mayweather at MMA, it's a complete mismatch. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, but... Hey, Hearn, look behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Lennox Lewis. <laughs> so, who would you want to see Floyd fight? Uh, uh, Kelbrook. Kel Brook. If he came back? Kel Brook. I don't really want to see Floyd fight anymore. Yeah. I mean, even Mayweather against Pacquiao, is it that big? I don't know. You wouldn't want to see that? How about Mike, how about Mike Garcia? Great Mike fighter, Mike great Mike fighter. Mike. Great fighter, Mikey Garcia. Uh, Who's that, your son? <laughs> you, look like, you, look like, you look like an older Mikey Garcia. Can you fight like Mikey Garcia? I've got a contract for you, come on. <laughs> I'm a fan. I did the TV wow. deal with Sky and Kathy Duva, so I'm here really. I'm here really as a fan. Are you enjoying it? The yeah, I've just, I've, just, I've just flown in. I so, can tell. Yeah, uh, but it's a great fight. I'm here because it's a great fight, and I want to see it. Uh, I think Ward on points. Don't but, tell Kathy. Yeah, but Kovalev's got to be desperate. He's got to take as many chances as possible. Eddie, is he, is he number one pound for pound if he wins? Andre Ward or Kovalev? Do they have a claim for it or is there still debate? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they have a claim for it. They have a claim for it. But, you know, Andre Ward's been inactive for a long time and he, he hasn't boxed any high level opposition really since Carl Froch. So, you know, maybe he hasn't had the competitive fights that he needs to compete with someone like Kovalev. He may get in there and be completely shocked by the power and skill of Kovalev. But can Ward lock up Kovalev like he did to a frotch? You know, a big 175 pound fighter, I think maybe not. That's what I'm saying. Kovalev's got to be desperate in the fight. He can't wait and wait and wait and then get frustrated and sulk and, you know, or get to the 10th round and he's 8 1 down. And then he's just, you know, then he's, he's got a, he, can't, he can't let Ward get into his rhythm. Canelo said he was the best fighter at the moment right now. Who is? Canelo? Canelo said that. Canelo said he is? Yeah. Said it, do you agree with that? Or I think Canelo is an incredible fighter. I just don't think he beats Golovkin. That's Guys, a fight that's got to be made. I need this to head that way. This area is closed. It's I need everybody here. to head to the casino. I'm trying to do my job, boss. I can't go home to your move. You get a lot of love in the States. Not Tom, right, you guys need me here promoting. You've been getting a lot of... Right about Canelo and Mikey Garcia, yeah, my no friend. Worries. No worries. So
Stop. We need to come over more, Eddie. Oh, no, uh, the Porters are mad they didn't get the rematch. Why didn't, the Porters, who? Why didn't the Porters get the rematch? Against who? Uh, yeah. Kel Brook. Because he got school. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Would you want to see that rematch again? No, I like Sean Porter a lot. It was a good fight, but I had Brook winning comfortably in his first fight, a competitive fight in America. Um, I don't know what Porter's doing now. I was going to put him on in Monte Carlo. Uh, How are you guys? Please, we're not trying to be rude here. Here in a minute, we got to start uh, Enough time out. to fight Errol Spence, no, We don't have time Pacquiao, to wait. Head towards the casino. Head towards the casino. You already know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today.